In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to get started building a game in Unity using assets from the Unity Asset Store. We're going to take a look at how we've used the Unity Asset Store to build our own turn-based battle scene that you could expect to see in a traditional role-playing game, complete with environment, characters, and a polished user interface. The assets used in this project are all available in the Unity Asset Store, with links in the description below. Let's take a look at our turn-based battle game and see the assets that we've used to put it together. Our player has entered a battle against an ogre. They must take it in turns and use the moves available to reduce the ogre's health to zero and win the battle. The player can select their move by interacting with the UI menu and can choose between a physical attack and a magic attack. The two characters are fully textured and animated and include reactions to being both damaged and defeated. During each move, we've added a visual effect to help add some juice to the gameplay. Each character has a UI panel to show their current health, and when a character takes damage, the UI is updated to reflect the damage taken. The background environment for the battle was built using the incredibly detailed Nature Manufacture Assets Pack. This pack comes with a variety of different high-quality models, materials, and textures that are perfect for putting together an outdoor environment. We've used the Unity Terrain tool to create the terrain for the scene and textured it using the ground layers from this pack. By creating a brush and assigning the various assets from the pack, such as these poplar trees, we were able to paint them into the environment with ease and quickly create a forest backdrop for characters to fight in front of. We then added some additional details to the environment by using the various other assets in the pack, such as rocks, logs, and cliff edges. By scaling and rotating these assets to our liking, we were able to add custom details to help finish off the environment. We used the Fog Volume component from the Fog Volume 3 Asset Pack to help add a detailed cloud layer to the sky. This is a powerful volumetric fog renderer, which can be used to create a wide range of atmospheric effects. For our game, we created a volume and extended it out above the scene to get our cloud layer in the sky. We enabled the noise and adjusted the settings to get a more suitable looking cloud pattern. We also replaced the default Unity Skybox with one from the Fog Volume Asset Pack and set the position of our directional light in the scene. Using the GPU Light Mapper in Unity, it was easy for us to quickly create and test the lighting in our scene. For our player character, we're using the Priestess model. She's fully rigged and equipped to take down the fiercest of monsters in my battle game. The asset even includes a variety of different animations for her, so there's no extra work in getting started we were able to jump straight into building her animations for the combat. The Heroic Fantasy Creatures pack is full of great enemies for the RPG we're working on. Each character in the pack is a full quality textured asset and includes a number of different animations, including combat, idle, and locomotion. It's easy to swap out different characters, so the player has a vast array of different characters to battle against in her game. The visual effects for each attack come from the Realistic Effects Pack 4 asset. This is a bundle of 27 mobile-friendly particle effects and shaders that work straight out of the box. We simply had to drag the prefabs we liked into our scene and position them in place. We then timed them to activate with our animation events, and in just a few steps, we were able to add great-looking effects to our game. For the UI, we're using the RPG MMO UI 7 pack. This is a great pack that includes a number of stylized UI elements and components that you would expect to see in a typical RPG and make it easy to get started building UI for your game. We've used the pack to create both the player and enemy nameplates, as well as the menu buttons for our moves. We've hooked up the health bar in both the player and enemy nameplate to our gameplay script. Then all we had to do was update the fill value on the bar to reflect the percentage of each character's health during the battle. Additionally, when the player or enemy's health reaches zero, we've also used their modal window prefab to show a victory or defeat panel to the player. Finally, we use the post-processing stack in Unity to add additional rendering effects, such as depth of field, color grading, tone mapping, and motion blur. The post-processing stack is a great way to customize the look of a game's visuals and helps in bringing all of the assets together. By using assets from the Unity Asset Store, we can quickly create an environment, integrate characters and animations, and also implement our user interface design. All of the assets shown here are available now on the Unity Asset Store. 
So if you're looking for a way to quickly jump into developing a game and need some high quality, high performance assets to help you get started, check out the Asset Store today. To learn more, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.